My husband used to love it for children. He, he thought they were our future and he did everything he could for them. More and more schools come in and uh, they, like we've got Thornley on today <laughs> and we get, we get them from all walks of life. Yeah. What are you doing? Putting the boiler on the hook because it's hairy. <laughs> so you put the boiler, you put the piercer through the boiler, then put it on the loop, and then push the boiler onto it. Then you use one of these, which is a stopper. Okay. And then so then the boiler don't fall off. No boilers. It's just like fish food. And what do you like about fishing? No, it just calms you down. Like it gets you away from everyone else. It's like being like on your own, being quiet. Yeah. And how long do you spend at a time? Right, sometimes I just I'd sit off at about six in the morning and go home at about seven. Right, like in the night. So what method are you using now? Feeder. So what's yeah. a feeder? <laughs> Like a, like a cage and you put a ground bait in it and when you chuck it in it like releases it like in a cloud and then, it, then the fish goes and like bites the boiler that's on the hook. Why is it better using that method? Because I don't <laughs> when the, the yeah. ground bait, because you know, the ground bait's got like a smell in it, it attracts all the fish and when even when the bait's not in the water it's still, like, the ground bit's still there. How to tackle challenging behaviour in young people is an increasingly hot topic within education. Many schools are now introducing positive activities such as fishing into the timetable in a bid to encourage young people who may need some extra support. This board, they had some photographs up and I don't know how old they were. <laughs> and I thought, well, they, they're coming down, we've seen sick of seeing those and I started saying if anybody gets a nice picture and they want it on our board see if your parents agree and we'll uh, put it up of course I got overloaded you know and I changed them regularly you know like there's a couple on there fading a little bit now but I wanted to see children on there as well not just ordinary and you know everyday grown-ups adults but look at the children these are just a handful of what we get you know but that's our future again it's and children are amazed they love it getting the photograph up there with this fish it doesn't matter how big or how small they're all e equally uh, acceptable I think that young people get a tremendous amount. Firstly, I think, I'm watching you lot today, I've watched how calm you've been, how well behaved, you get a respect for the things around you, you get a respect for wildlife, and you develop a skill. And it's something that I don't think many people of your age have. It's the skill to sit there quietly and just look at the world around you. Do you think young people benefit from being out of school environment? Well, I do think that I've been a teacher for 30 years now and I think getting you out of school and getting any other young person out of school it's one of the best things you can do because you're used to learning things in a classroom so children, all children of your age and even older and sometimes I think you need that break from being inside to be in a completely different environment yes. and the environment you're in out here is you can't repeat it anywhere else These tend to work quite well so just a couple of red maggots Mm. There you go. Right, and you went through that end of them. So I haven't burst the maggot, it's just sitting there quite nicely. Yeah? <laughs> Hook in your hand and it'll have the bait on it, okay? Yeah. You point the point away from you, it's not going to hurt when you do this. Lift the, the tip of the pole and you can swing it out, drop the tip, and then that's going. See how far that's gone? Yeah. Now that will just set itself up quite nicely. Just there. What happens when you, if you get one? Right, what will happen is that float will disappear completely. Mm, yeah. Okay, and all you do, this is set up so that all you have to do is just lift sharply like that. Uh, yeah. That's all you have to do. 
The good maggots, good maggots, Adam. They've been individually trained, every one of them. Hand reared. Official racing maggots. Just like those rats I was telling you about. It's a baby version of that one over there. There you go. It's a baby version. You're going to pop it back? Come on. Go back. There you go. One little fish. Back in the water. Don't throw. Just drop it. In. <laughs> <laughs> it's just belly flop. Never mind. It won't hurt it. Because when you think about what they do, they're leaping out of the water all the time. It's not going to do any damage. To it. But in future, just drop it back in at your feet. Yeah. Checking. Oh well, there won't be any pike in here. Because pike will have them as they go back in. When you're fishing a lot, you find pike will come and sit underneath you and wait for you to feed them. Chuck that fish. Chuck fish. <laughs> There you go, that is a beautiful roach. Okay, now somewhere I've got to discourage you to take a look out. Isn't that beautiful, eh? Can you bring me the little blue plastic box that's over there, please? That's a beautiful fish. Look at the perfect fins. Yeah, you've done well there. <laughs> I told you to catch. Yay. And who was it who wasn't going to fish? Me. Who didn't have any fishing tackle with him? Mm. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what down here? Here we <laughs> come. Tom's caught biggest one out there. Have I? I thought you caught one. <laughs> At the end of a successful trip, the boys have shown patience, care and understanding and displayed personality traits that would be welcome in any classroom. No fish were harmed during the making of this film.